Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, an astonishing X-Men, wanted dead or alive, issue number 15. Uh, wow, uh, this was almost astonishing. No, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna finish that pun. Look, let's get started with who actually made this comic book. So, um, until our hearts stop, part three. Writer, Matthew Rosenberg. Uh, penciler, Greg Land and Neil Edwards. Inker, Jay Lyson. And color artist, Frank D'Armada. VCs Clayton Cowles on letters. Greg Land with Frank D'Armada does the cover art. Oh, there's a Cosmic Ghost Rider versus variant cover art. Uh, versus variant cover art. Anyway, um, Axo. So, um, wow. <laughs> is, is that a fair assessment of this comic book? So, all of these characters get to actually be who they are and... But they're their silliest... No, 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 no. That's wrong. To say they're their silliest form. This is Rosenberg having some fun with some good characters. Like, for instance, Colossus doesn't necessarily act silly. You know, saying, um, Allison acts silly. And I'm cool with that. 100%. The banter in the very beginning between her and Beast about him being fat and no, no, it's actually just my winter coat coming in. <laughs> Because they're arguing over French, freaking French fries. Look, every single one of us has had that argument with our friends. Like, you know it's the worst when you go into a McDonald's, you know, saying just you, your buds are around, and you order a thing of fries for yourself, or God forbid, some chicken nuggets, and everybody's, yo, let me get one. Yo, let me get some. It's like, dude. <laughs> half of it is, why you, you know, why you infringing, you know, with your broke self. The other half is, why was I so stupid to buy stuff when I know these guys are broke? <laughs> Because, you know, one of these days, you're going to be broke, too. Um, anyway, the uh, the conversation between the Reavers and one. Interesting. Bishop has the, the white... I always just call him the white bishop. But um, he's always pretty much been a, a jerk. <laughs> uh, Pierce. Um, just... He, he, he endears himself to the wrong people all the time. Miss Sinister was captured, so that means Miss Sinister is still alive, apparently. Okay, cool. I'm down. I'm down. I love the idea she's still around. I'm glad that, you know, even if she was killed, who cares? It's Miss Sinister. She'll come back. You know what I'm saying? I love the Sinister family. They're the best. Like, literally, to me, they're one of the best villains going. Uh, they just need to be treated as an actual threat again. That would make me happy. So, these guys, um... They're, uh, at one, they're like, oh, yeah, man, you know, we let them go, but you're sitting here saying that my men are useless. Well, you know what? Maybe you're more useful than you think. We let Sinister go. We're not going to let you go. We're going to keep you here forever. Well, in some ways, they could kind of use the funding, so I don't even think they'll have a problem with that. Wait, I can go out and try and kill X-Men, and you'll foot the bill? Okay. <laughs> um, I do take a little bit of exception to the idea that the military puts more thought into equipment as opposed to the, um, what do you call it, the, the actual training of the soldier as a six-year U.S. Army combat infantry veteran. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to say that that's simply not the case. There's a whole lot of emphasis on the training. And uh, weapons are just an extension of your own body. Peter, dude, Peter is freaking awesome in this, this issue. Colossus is just, like, he... I, Unfortunately, he doesn't get a lot of air time in this, so to speak, but the time that he does get, absolutely perfect. And let me see if I can't... There's two drawings in here that are just so perfect. One is of Peter, like this badass explosion. And just look at this. This is one of the reasons why we love being X-Men fans, because when somebody's going to draw a good Colossus, dude, it just... Art doesn't get better than that. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Like, scary as hell. Loves me some Colossus with a beard. I got my Colossus up there. I got the beard face, the beard head. I just just put that one in. Whatever. Anyway, um, there's some other, there's a whole bunch of other pictures in here. Very specifically, oh, Banshee. I'm interested. Banshee, like, runs away, flies away. There's going to be more to that. There's going to be a whole lot. It's clear. Clear as day. There's going to be a whole lot more to that. I need to see what that's going to be. That is cool. But I want to point out uh, John uh, Jimmy Proudstar. You know what I'm saying? Warpath here? Dude, this is probably one of the best that, I, you know, that, forget about correcting me if I'm wrong. If you've seen better him drawn and actually looking like a true Native American, please, by all means, let me know. Because I have some Native American, uh, specifically Cherokee roots, 
And I always find that these guys are not drawn the best, but this is awesome. He actually looks like a native to me. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. You know what? That deserves another shout out. That deserves another shout out. Here I go. I'm going back to the well, going back to the beginning. Freaking Greg Land, Neil Edwards, Jay Lyston, and Frank D'Armada. Awesome. Awesome job. Absolutely awesome job. Really good. Really good work. Okay. Um, Havoc and, and Proudstar, Havoc and Warpath, go a slightly different route to beat their to potentially beat the bad guys. They have to they have to look at it as enemy and enemy. But these guys are more enemy than these guys, so I'm going to potentially join with these guys. I don't know how that's going to work, and Havoc doesn't always have the best plans, and this is clearly the silly version of Havoc. It's not even silly, but, you know. After him being so ridiculously evil in X-Men Blue because of the incursion, and then switching to this over here in X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, it's different, but I'm okay. I'm going along with it. Uh, this was great. And also, once again, Beast gets beaten up because of whatever. The grenade comes in and he's just, ah, I'm hurt really bad. What else is new, Beast? What else is new? You look like a big furry tough guy, but you're not. You're a big blue teddy bear. Shut up. <laughs> Stop being tough. Stand behind Colossus. You'll be fine. Anyway, good book. Really good book. And this is the week of really, really, really good comic books, very specifically the Marvel comic books this week. Sorry, DC. And uh, also the week of amazing Marvel covers. Holy crap. Loving these. Like this, once again, this needs to be a poster. This needs to be a poster. Anyway, this is going to be it for me. Long enough. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.